with a zero in it, I could probably just zero that out. Or, or I'm going to remove that. I, I don't think that's going to be useful to our data set. And this is where, this is where uh, tailoring your data set to try to get the most relevant data is useful or, or is applicable, right? We've got to say, should it, does it make sense to keep that in or should we pull it out? How should we pull it out? Should we base it on how many at-bats they had and so on? I'm just going to take all of these rows down to all of the zeros for sure remove them 0 0.5 let's take it let's take it up to like 0 0.059 everything above that we will keep and assume is legitimate data so we're going to right click and i'm going to delete all of that stuff and then if i sort the batting average from z to a if we have these really large batting averages that would probably indicate that they didn't have uh, a lot of that bats possibly because that would be a quite a substantial batting average so I'm gonna say let's just remove at least this top one maybe these two I'm gonna remove these two and and these are somewhat subjective as to whether we should remove those or not right because that you have to, so that but that's it now so now we got the batting averages which are the heart of the data and I'm gonna say let's pick that up then and use it to our do our statistical analysis on so We've done this before. We're gonna we're gonna make a skinny D. We could do this with our eyes closed. We could do it with our even if some jerk tied our eyelashes to our nose hairs, forcing our eyes closed and to be watered at the same time. We could still do this at this point. So let's let's say that we're gonna pull in the data. Let's make this age and the batting average. I'll make this black and white for the header, home tab, font group, uh, black and white for the headers let's center it alignment and center our normal calculations this is going to be the mean the standard d and let's pull this in a bit we don't need it to be that large and then i'm just going to do the average equals the average age of the baseball players control shift down and 28 so not now I'm not going to be in there unless I'm I'm that crazy phenomenon that could. And I'm going to copy that to the right, and let's do the batting average. Just go to the home tab, numbers decimalize it. Let's put three decimals, and there's the average batting average, 0.2. So if we percentize that 22 percent. So remember when we're talking about baseball, it's the likelihood of actually getting on base is not that high. Uh, is is the general the general thing right 22 percent is the average so then we're going to say according to this statistic which we basically you can see how we trimmed the data that we have over here which might be a different way of trimming the data than some other stats that you might uh, take take a look at which might use different techniques uh, but that's what we'll go with now standard deviation equals the standard d we want for the sample this time and i'm going to pick up the age control shift down as we've seen before enter and there is there's that for let's decimalize it home tab number group decimalize copying it to the right fill handle dragging it to the right and so there we have the standard d here home tab number let's add a couple more decimals on that one all right so then we could say well what does this data look like in terms of a histogram let's let's check that out let's take the ages and say uh insert chart and make a histogram of this and so there's our age histogram i should have i should have put it let's delete that and then i'm gonna i'm gonna go up to the top and then insert it so i don't have to drag it up chart insert histogram all right so this is our age histogram age histogram and so we've got people, you know, in, it looks like it's kind of, you know, somewhat bell shaped, not, you know, you got the people at the middle part is the higher point and then it tapers off. Although you've got this peak at 24 to 25 and then this other peak at uh, t 28 to 29. And then you go way out here and I'm past, uh, I'm, would be an outlier out there, but I'd still, if I, if I wanted to, I could do it. I could do it right here, right now. If I, I just don't want to. If I did, I would do it, but it's stupid because I don't need it. I don't need to do that. Anyway, I'm going to say control shift down on the batting average. And uh, notice I have some blank data down here still. I thought we 
removed all of the blank data. Let's go back up top and let's redo this. Let's fix that. Batting average, I'm sorting by batting average. I'll, I, I deleted the low one. So let's go, let's go down and delete all of that and do this again. Control shift down. Everything below here I'm gonna delete. So I'm gonna delete the blanks. If they have no batting average, we don't even want you here. You didn't make the team. What are you even doing on the team if you don't have a batting average? Get out of here. Let's do it again. Let's do the mean again equals the average. Making sure we pick up the right data. Copy that to the right. Decimalize it. And then the standard D, let's do that again, equals the standard D. Go back to the miners, man. Go back to the miners. Oh, that's mean. Whatever. It's how it is when you're in the big leagues. I f you can't hack it. Home tab, we're going to say, okay. So <laughs> so then let's do our, our, our age again. Let's do this age again thing now that we have our this data. And insert charts, histogram. So there we have it. All right, so this is our age. Okay, and then let's do one for the batting average. Control shift down, control backspace, and insert charts, histogram, boom. Oh no, I did that again. Let's pull it down. And this is gonna be the batting average, BA. And so again, it looks kind of like it's bell shape. It's tapering off. We've got these outliers that maybe we should have trimmed off uh, over here and that middle point being being around uh, the mean. So so that doesn't necessarily give us an indication that there's any any kind of uh, correlation, but it might give us some ideas sometimes about our hypotheses about the data. So now let's let's do our let's take this and take our formula for the correlation calculation i'm going to make a, a large h and we'll say this is going to be smaller here oh now i'm moving it that's not what i wanted to do make a smaller one here and then let's make a smaller one here okay and then we'll pull this into the large h all right so it's still probably quite large. I don't think it needs, anyways, that's okay. So then let's take our data and do our calculation for the age and the batting average. I'm just gonna take those two and paste that over here. And so there we have it. Let's make our header tab this way, going to the 